Good morning, guys. It's a beautiful morning. I just woke up. We were up to about one last night uh, working on wedding stuff. And yes, you are not seeing double. <laughs> so um, this one is actually the truck that I picked up three weeks ago. Currently has around, uh, I, think, I think I'm think i close to about 10,000 K in uh, three weeks time. I'm going to have to start backing those Ks off or uh, I'm going to K that thing out in about one year. Um, this one we just picked up. Um, so it's basically uh, his and hers. So Ashton will drive this one and then I'll drive this one. They're pretty much identical. The only difference is is this one is a 2500 which is three quarter ton but that doesn't matter because I'm going to put airbags under it and this one is a 3500. Otherwise they're completely identical. So we're going to use this. I think we're going to use both these trucks for the wedding tomorrow. Ashton's going to come in uh, to the wedding with this one. And I'm going to take this one. So yeah. It's got even got the exact same tire pattern. <laughs> um, well, to be honest, guys, I actually really do like this truck. I'm quite impressed. Uh, my average... Uh, Mileage, I think, works out to 10 or 11. Um, 10 or 11. Is it 10 or is it 11? Now I can't remember. Per 100 kilometers. And that's driving at a pretty, I mean, at a very decent rate of speed. <laughs> but um, I actually pulled this mower back. See this? I got the fence on the mower. I just put out a video of me uh, mowing frantically trying to get ready for this wedding. That mower is a lot heavier than it looks. It set the truck down pretty good. So I'm looking forward to putting these airbags in. But uh, if I had to do a pro and con on these uh, Chevys, I just washed it uh, yesterday. I'm just going to put my th coffee mug up here. These, a pro is definitely these steps. I love these steps. Um, you can also put down your tailgate yes I know every truck can do that from the cab and also put up the tailgate from the cab you can do that from the cab um, the downside to these steps is that they're terrible to wash because uh, you got all these crevices in here you want to spray in here and it blows it back at you uh, when you run your fuel over it actually strains down into here and it's hard to get out and it just kind of seeps and drips out so then this is always kind of real filmy dirty unless you can really get the jet in there and clean it out and again when you're spraying in there it just blows it back it's kind of like when you're spraying and cleaning your rim so that's kind of annoying um, I'm considering taking the running boards off my work truck just due to uh, they just cake up with dirt under here and mud Um, these mirrors here let's just hop in here ah. so these mirrors are awesome they're big and they'll extend out they do not rotate over they extend out and in via this uh, button here but you could lose a whole car in that thing because you could be driving around like it's like, like I have a class 1 drivers but uh, you really do got to look around your mirrors because I think, especially these, your passenger side, I believe it's just due to the angle of your windshield, plus that mirror. You just have a little pocket there you can see, but you can lose a whole car in there easy. So that's a little dangerous. I don't like that. I really do like that I can charge my phone on here. Just throw it there. It fits it. It's big enough. It fits it. Wireless charging. I do like that. Um, you got uh, a plug here power adapter here. Um, the downside, you plug something in here, and I always do this. I plug something like to charge my phone, but you have to turn it on. Here, I'll start this truck up. So uh, you have to light it up green. Unless that's lit up green, you can have your phone plugged in there all day and it's not going to do nothing. Um, so that's kind of annoying because I always forget to turn that on. 
Now, this truck has the hill descent control, which is I think is completely useless. Um, the work truck, the other truck, has uh, it rolls all four windows down. Again, completely useless. Like, you could be going down the highway, and I've done this. I'm reaching over to hit my power button, but I accidentally miss and hit that button, and it drops all four windows at the exact same time, but it will not roll them up. Ooh. But it will not roll them up. So that's annoying, and I don't know what that's for. Is that like uh, if someone lets one rip in there and it's just like a quickly a vacate the vehicle type deal? Or <laughs> So anyway, I think that they just needed to put something there because they had a... Why didn't they leave it open for an auxiliary or something? Why don't they cut it in half and have two auxiliary buttons? So that way when I wire in my LED light bar, which will go on the back and the, and the rack, which will go on the back after the wedding, then I could hit the one or the other to power it up. That's what I... That would be my suggestion. Um, what else? I do like the HUD, uh, it, the instrument display up there, as you can see. I do like that. Uh, oh, I, I showed you. I do like the camera, because you can have a bunch of stuff right here. Completely block your view, and yet you can still see behind you. Okay. Um, it's got some cool little pockets, some storage pockets. The seats do go up, and for the most part, will fold. For the most part, will fold right out of the way. You do have another power back there, heated seats in the back as well. This here is your uh, plug it in. The lights are good on it. It rides nice. I'm a big fan of painted bumpers. I really like white painted bumpers or just a painted bumper in general. I really like this being white. Um, some other, other cool features, and I believe that most other trucks have this as well. Uh, but it's kind of nice. So when you do your lane change, you just tap your signal light, right? Yeah, it does like three ticks and you're over. As soon as you hook up a trailer to the plug, I believe all of the trucks are like this. You tap your signal light and I think it goes five or six ticks. And then uh, when it goes the five or six ticks, it turns on this camera. I'm going to show you. Uh, there's a camera right here. Right there, there's a little camera. And it basically it gives you this angle with the camera. So if you were to turn your right signal light on, Boom. So you can see all the way down your trailer. Uh, so it turns this camera on every time. You could probably turn it off if you didn't want it, but it turns that camera on. It's kind of nice. You can make sure that nobody's in your blind spot or maybe you want to watch your trailer around the corner or something like that. So that's kind of cool. Uh, what else? What else? Oh yeah, the def tank seems pretty large. Uh, like. My Platinum, I'm pretty sure, I put in a 10 liter jug and it got me like half three quarters full. I put in two 10 liter jugs on this thing and it got me to like, I think like half full. So I feel like this thing consumes a little bit more def. And especially when it's pulling. Because I use 20 liters of def or something like that to go to Mooseman. Now Mooseman's like... I don't know, it's it's a ways, six, maybe seven or eight hours, I don't know, something like that without really thinking about it, pulling a trailer. But man, I sure burned a lot of death. So I don't like that. The other thing that I really like is um, they will idle longer. I believe it will idle for about an hour. So uh, I do enjoy that because my Platinum would idle for like, I swear, 20 minutes. Maybe it's longer, but it was painful. So... Uh, I can throw one set of key fob in here, take the other one with me, and it will just uh, it will just idle for quite a while. Now, the platinum was nice. I'm talking a Ford Platinum here. When it was about to shut off, it would actually ding if you're in watching a movie at the drive-in movie theater, and it would be like, do something within 15 seconds or whatever, or the engine's going to shut off. 
so you had some warning. This you have zero warning. So when we're sitting in the drive-in movie theater, I'm thinking to myself, boy, it's going to shut off pretty soon. So I'm moving the steering wheel. I don't really want to apply my park brakes and blind the people behind me sitting in their box, you know, watching it from the from their <laughs> watching it from behind. But uh, I'm like, shoot, I should probably do something. Maybe it, maybe I can trick it. But nope, no, nope, it just shuts off. It shuts off at that time. <laughs> um. Yeah, and another pet peeve with just new vehicles in general, and now maybe you guys have some pointers for me, but uh, whether it be the Ford Platinum I took to the movie theaters, and I did, or these ones that I took to the movie theaters, um, every truck will shut off. This, is, this one will idle the longest, in my opinion, from what I have drove. But uh, when it does shut off, you do have power in there for, what, 10, 15, 20 minutes, something like that. Every truck's a little bit different, and then that's it. Wouldn't it be kind of nice to be able to turn the power? And I tried. Like once it powered out, powered off, then I hit the little button, you know, to power back on. But maybe I'm doing something wrong. But it always kept powering off in like another 10, 15, 20 minutes. I'd like to be able to, like, I don't know. There needs to be, there needs to be a movie, drive-in movie theater mode. Because every time it powers off, all your lights turn on, you know. And yes, you can set the timing on that. So that way you can walk away from it and see what you're doing. But meanwhile, you're blinding everybody beside you. <laughs> <laughs> so there needs to be a mode where uh, you can just hit drive-in movie theater mode and it can idle for like two hours and yes I'm one of those guys that idles my vehicle because typically it's like 30 degrees outside or something like that and I like to I don't know have some creature comforts when I'm sitting at the movie theater but uh, and it's transmitting through your radio so your movie theater experience is only as good as your sound system is so it doesn't really matter whether anyone's got their vehicles running unless they have all their windows open and they're listening it through the back of their truck or something. That would be the only matter time where it would uh, where it maybe bother them. But anyways, yeah, that's my two cents. Oh yeah, and I need to answer the, the most obvious question. Mike, why did you buy another white truck? Well, to be honest, um, I guess I already got the white one first, right? And so Ashton's going to be driving this one, and, well, she also really likes white vehicles. So I didn't really have a lot of say in that because it's not really fair for me to have a say in. And second, we had talked about she could take take over this one, the first one that I bought, and then I would buy maybe a different color. I was looking at that dark brown. It was kind of a, it almost looked black. Um, <laughs> but um, we didn't have a lot of options, to be honest with you. Uh, there was a dark brown one, but it was a three-quarter ton. This is a one ton. And it was going to cost me $200 a month more for a three-quarter ton. Just just how the residual values played out. And I'm like, why do I want to spend $200 a month more for a brown one? And I'm only getting a three-quarter ton. So it just didn't make sense. So anyway, we both really liked the white vehicles. And uh, so we went for matching. We went for, we went for a his and hers to answer your question. Know what your other question is, Mike? You said you did an eighty thousand kilometer lease on that one. Yes, I did. Did you buy or lease this one? I leased it as well, just due to their leasing program was quite aggressive and it just made sense. Um, Ashton doesn't quite drive as much as I do, so I think she just put a fifty on. Uh, but you know what? We're probably gonna. <laughs> I'm probably gonna. I could probably out K both of those just by myself right now I'm on pace for hundred and fifty to hundred and sixty thousand a year on my first one that's gonna be a problem problem it is a two-year lease so chances are it's just gonna be like in one year I'm gonna have to take the hit and hand it back and be like there you go give me something different but I guess we'll cross that bridge when we get there and um, yeah so I'm happy that we got these just before the wedding we're gonna use them for the wedding and I just want to say uh, Thanks to all you guys for following me around. You guys are awesome. Thanks for taking interest in what I do. Oh yeah, and then I got my old white Ford, the bomb round truck. It's got the fire wagon in the back. Fire wagon. We call it the fire wagon truck, but it's got the fire tank in the back. It's got about 150 gallon tank in there. So, but it's on its last legs, you guys. Like it has a lot of problems. <laughs> okay, see you guys later. Yeah, I wanted to point out one thing here. Just gonna open this up. 
right here you have a plug-in and so you could plug in a radio or whatnot if you wanted to have like a tailgate party or whatnot but anyways um, I'm like man I wonder how many amps that thing will hold so I stuck a chop saw on it and no it will definitely not run that but it will run a reciprocator saw so take that as you will they also got the ball place for a ball and package and set up like that but LED lights more plugs over here also I don't even know what these are for never even seen those before <laughs> alright guys adios amigos